Hello everyone. Today we are back in Stockbridge because we're going to go to Stockbridge Market. <laughs> Stockbridge Market has been running since September 2011 and it takes place in the Jubilee Gardens at Stockbridge every Sunday from about 10 till 5. So there's usually about 24 ish stalls at uh, the Stockbridge Market. You can actually go onto the Stockbridge Market website and see which stalls are going to be there on that Sunday. Sorry, I'm looking about because I'm crossing the street at the same time. I'm sure you don't want me to get run over. Um, however, you won't find a lot of the shops here having a stall in the market because, in fairness, that doesn't really make sense, does it? Why would you, you know, own property and have a shop? to then have a stall in the market right beside it. This is the first time I'm going, but I've heard a lot about it. Um, but I think Stockbridge itself loses out because people go to the market and then don't come into Stockbridge itself and go to the high street. All right, here we go, Stockbridge Market. And I can already see that the diet is not gonna go well today. Oh, look at that. If YouTube ever invents smell a vision. Oh, that's lovely. Now I've only just came into it and there's a putt, so there's a paella style there, ice cream rolls, fresh made bread, and olive stalls. Food right away. And that seems to be what everyone's doing straight away. It's coming straight to the food. Oh, I mean, look at some of this home bacon here. Oh, I see cheese. I love cheese. Probably a good place to come for souvenirs. I bet you there's loads of souvenirs here. Craft jewellery, more food, food, soaps. Over in the corner there, there's also a draft alcohol, home Scottish brewed alcohol, which looked lovely. Okay, so I've had one quick wander around. Very busy. It's not massive. Um, I don't know what I thought, I don't know how big I thought it was going to be. It's not massive though, it's maybe about, like I said, 24-ish stalls. The majority of them are food. Mostly it's food, fresh food you can eat there and there. Local delicacies and some other things as well. So I'll just go around and I'll just film a bit so you can see what it is right now. It's very busy. I don't know what else I expect, but it's very busy. This guy is doing making ice cream rolls, but I love ice cream. Oh, there we go. Healthy vegetarian and vegan food here as well. More cheese. Yum. I love cheese. There we go. Barbecue stall. Can't be a barbecue stall. Free range butchers. Homemade jams and marmalades and jellies and honey. More cakes. Oh, Oties. I love Oties. See those right there? I love Oties. There's a man dressed as a monk. And why not? I've actually, the guy, the monk guy was selling meat. So I've actually bought myself a little bottle of meat because it's something I've always wanted to try. Fresh fruit. Always nice. Oh, this fascinated me on the way around. He is carving these out of coins. Look at that. That's coins. It's amazing. But do you really not like it when he speaks Spanish? Let me zoom in so you can see it. That, he's carved all of that out of coins. Is that not incredible? You want to keep your identity. Cold process soap maker. So a lot of organic things around about here. Don't judge me. I'm always the creature habit. Traditional sausage roll. History time now, kids. It's at the end of Sanderson Street in India Place. 
it used to be I hate to use the word slums but that's what it was it was slums houses and in the slums clearance in the 60s which is a horrible phrase but that's what it was it was all changed um, all knocked down and it was all changed and all knocked down and turned into the more modern house that you can see there in the 70s um, I, I don't know what the slums houses were not like before my time unfortunately I don't know, you know, it's these sort of things. Nowadays you'd probably think people would turn them into beautiful little places, but I don't know what they were then, but they got rid of them all. If you haven't seen my video of uh, Stockbridge, I'll leave a, a link in the corner, you can, you can go have a look. After I posted that, Stockbridge.com got in contact with me. They were very, um, really nice guys from what I've chatted to. They enjoyed the video and they gave me some information on Stockbridge Market. And I'll leave a link in the description to Stockbridge website. So if you want to get more information on Stockbridge, and I'll also leave a link to the Stockbridge Market website if you want to go in there. Stockbridge Market website tells you what stalls are going to be there that weekend. Stockbridge um, itself website tells you lots of information, what's going on, um, local events and things like that as well. It's actually a really nice little website, check it out. Uh, they've been great, they give me all the information about this today, which is what I've got in my hand. They've very kindly printed... Um, wrote me up some history and things, which is really nice, so thank you very much guys, I really appreciate that. It's a lovely little market, I would highly recommend coming, it's got a lot of local uh, businesses, but not local to Stockbridge, There's a lot of craft work in there as you can see, very nice food. I think the idea was to bring people down to Stockbridge, I think when they started it back in 2011 that was the idea, bring more people down to Stockbridge, bring more tourists, let them see. And I'm watching here, people are coming, they're going to the market and then they're leaving and they're missing the beautiful stock bridge which is literally to the left of them right here so do me a favor if you come don't just go to the market go on to stock bridge itself as well because you're missing out but the market's lovely that sausage roll i had oh it was nice another thing i should say i said i don't know what the slums were like because it's before my time but i forgot that the guys at stock bridge website sent me uh, a picture and some more information so let me read this to you and I'll put the picture in so you can see it which is the information about the picture you can see about the area where the market and things was if I get some of my pronunciations wrong forgive me all the buildings on the right up to the junction with the North Street, Kerr Street including the handsome Sanders Street fire station building in the middle with high chimneys and arches at ground level were demolished in the late 60s. Nearby uh, India Place suffered a similar fate whereas St Stephen Street and many other narrowly escaped the bulldozer thanks to some uh, campaigners, uh, campaigns by residents. See, all, it's a shame that all these beautiful little things have been destroyed. I mean, I know it's progress and I know that was the time and I know nostalgia is a great thing now and hindsight's a great thing. We can look back and see all these beautiful little bits. It's a shame that all these streets have gone. And look how pretty that is. So yeah, um, I don't know what this video's turned out like, guys, because I've never done this sort of video where I'm just pointing at looking at things and telling you, look, there's that, there's that. If anything, take away from this, come down. Come down to Stockbridge Market. I've been wanting to go for ages. I'm not disappointed. Lots of food to try. Um, I think uh, it's a shame Kirsten's not here because there's a lot of uh, vegetarian and vegan stuff as well, which when you go to these sort of things, it's hard to find. You know, it's usually barbecues or sizzling food and things like that. There's lots of veggie and vegan stuff there. Um, it's nice to know that there's those options there as well. So come down, try some food. If you want unique, tourist gifts, unique souvenirs I think is the better way, uh, I would go to somewhere like that. You saw the coins, the Harnkarv coins, there's lots of uh, tweed wallets and pictures and lots of nice, nice little things that you're probably not going to get in the shops. And then, don't just leave, head into Stockbridge, because it would be a shame. Why would you come all this way and not go down? Oh, I'm preaching. I'm preaching to you today. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. I think that's about it today, guys. I might go and get another sausage roll. Anyway, um, please remember, I hate this bit, uh, but give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you don't mind, you know, us talking at you once a week. And until um, next time, bye humans.